Hello everybody, welcome back to the Cool Casey. For today, we're going to make prawns kadaifi with tomato cherry marmalade. For ingredients, we're going to need four number of prawns, 100 grams of kadaifi filo, 50 ml of clarified butter, salt, pepper. For the cherry marmalade, we're going to need 10 pieces of cherry tomato, one tablespoon grated ginger, two tablespoons brown sugar, one tablespoon aged vinegar, one tablespoon smoked paprika, olive oil kitonakis, and for frying, olive oil kitonakis, frying oil, fresh chives. Okay, very, very easy recipe. Let's go, I'm gonna show you how beautiful he can be, this amazing recipe, and everybody do at the home, and it's like, very easy then is one of the beautiful dishes then what do we do like we're gonna start with a cherry tomato marmalade and after that we'll do like the wrap of the prawns then then go how we start we add a little bit of the beautiful olive oil here this amazing olive oil from kidonakis to our pan okay beautiful then we're gonna add our ginger and we're gonna keep to saute properly. Then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna keep all this here on the right side and we're gonna start to wrap together to save time. How we do now, like we're taking a beautiful Kadaifi or kunafa, how you know, like in the Arabic countries they call it kunafa, in Greece they call it kadaifi. This is beautiful and you can see we're gonna add a little bit of the butter and we're gonna take our brush, we're gonna add a bit of the butter on the top of the kunafa and we're gonna have these beautiful prawns. This is already started to saute properly our ginger and I try to save time for you and for me also like you know because I promise you it's a 10 minute recipe and it's very easy you can surprise like your friends and anyone you like beautiful then we just wrap in a proper way if we need a little bit extra of that what we do is we do exactly the same way we add a little bit of the butter Amazing. Then you go here and you wrap in the same way this beautiful prawn. What we do, stack I go keep on the side. Amazing. Then I will keep going till the time my ginger is gonna be saute properly. Then when the ginger is gonna be saute properly, like how you can see, but it's be like very brownish color, I will gonna add my sugar to start to caramelize properly and together with that I'm keep going with my beautiful prawns see like that how easy that like guys you know like you have to do this recipe it's amazing it's like one of my favorite with the shrimps just make sure you don't add so much butter because when you fry it you're gonna be like very brownies and you know, when it's very, very brown, it's gonna be... See, you can see this beautiful color, I saute already properly. Then I'm gonna add my brown sugar. And I will keep mixing it. Till the time it will caramelize. Together with that, I'm just doing my prawns. And just make sure it's not very, very, very tight. Now you can like do different marmalades, you can do different stuff, like this is depending about you, how you like it. And but for me I like with a tomato marmalade. Very good. See see that like it's already start to caramelize properly. And you see the color here, then you can see how like nice it looks like. Then what I will do is like add my vinegar. And yes, we have the crispness. 
when it's already there. Sorry, we are. What we do is like we keep our vinegar like all the acidity to go out. Then we will gonna add the cherry tomatoes, the paprika, and we're gonna keep mixing. And we're gonna slow down the fire and we're gonna leave it to cook for 10 minutes. Last minute, we're gonna add a little bit of the salt and the pepper and it's gonna be beautiful. Then, a little bit more of the butter. I have two more prawns and let's go. Stay with me, you're gonna see something beautiful. Then, now, if your butter is finished, like how mine, like you just make sure you add a little bit of more. And we keep doing the same way. Take the prawn, wrap, turn slowly, and amazing. You know guys, I'm almost there, like I have one more prawn, then you know what I'm gonna do is like, I'm gonna open my fire, like to be hot my oil, to be ready, and I'm gonna finish with my last prawn. Very nice. Have a little bit extra here, see that. And again, the same way, like, don't forget to put your clarified butter on the top. Now, if you don't have butter at home and you don't know how to make the clarified butter, what you can do is just use a little bit of the corn oil, but the butter here is gonna give nice color and nice taste to the prawns. Like, some of the people sometimes ask me questions like, why am I not adding marination in the prawns like salt, pepper? Look guys, you can also do that, like you can add a little bit of salt and pepper and everything in your, you know, in your prawns before to marinate, but I just add a little bit of the salt the time I clean up my beautiful prawns. But you know, like if you want to add something a little bit more, like more taste, like paprika and like a little bit spiciness or a little bit of chili or something like that, you can also do. You know, the problem, it's gonna be perfect. But you know, my marmalade, It'll gonna give me proper taste and it'll gonna be perfect. Then I'm ready. What I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna put in my tiller to settle down and all the ingredients be together with the butter. It's gonna cool down till the time will go to fry it. Five minutes later, I will take out my prawns and I have my sauces already done. This marmalade is beautiful, guys. You know, like, oh my goodness. I love that. Okay, then I will take out my prawns, it's ready, just make sure you fry in 180 for like not too many minutes, like I'm gonna keep my sauce on this side, the beautiful marmalade, and I'm gonna start with my prawns. I love that. And a little bit of pepper, just remove it out. Very good. Just make sure it's crispy mm. and be careful. Don't burn yourself. I love that. Amazing. Then let go. Now I'm gonna put, you see the first time you put one, then you check your temperature with the oil. If the temperature is in perfect time, and after that it's gonna be perfect. Again, yeah, let's do it. It's amazing. Like, try this recipe. It's like one of my favorites. If you see the oil is very, very hot, you're just taking the pan out a little bit. See that? And I'm flipping over. And wow, look at that, how beautiful this looks like. I'm keep doing it, then amazing. Okay, let's take it out the prawns. Wow. Very nice. Then, what I will do is like I will gonna start to plate him. Because my prawns is ready and it smells very nice. Very, very hungry and I need to try. I have beautiful plate. And what I will gonna do is like how we're gonna serve it actually. I'm gonna put one 
four, small, a little bit at the bottom to just don't move the plate. Amazing. Very good. And I will take a little bit for the top. Five, beautiful. And we're gonna put this amazing, beautiful bronze on the top. Very good. Guys, this is one of the, you know, like my beautiful recipes. Like it's very easy and very nice. Then you can also do it at home. It's like very, very easy, very nice, very, I don't know what I would say for this dish. It's beautiful, just do it. Okay, and it's almost there. I'm gonna add a little bit on the top. And wow, a little bit more. It's like a beautiful recipe. Okay, perfect guys, a little bit more on the top. Just a little bit. And a little bit more black pepper. And I will gonna add these beautiful flowers. I always love the flowers. And our beautiful type. I have like this beautiful type here. Then I will gonna add this. We're gonna give a little bit. Beautiful. Then olive oil. Amazing. And I am done. I'm Chef Sperhos. This is the beautiful prawns kadaifi with a marmalade, tomato marmalade. Then I hope you enjoy my today recipe and I will gonna see you in the next time, my next episode. Kiss, big hug to all of you. See you soon guys. Thank you.